Hello, butterflies. I'm slicing and dicing these chicken breasts. Skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Because I'm making chicken strips today. Air fried chicken strips. Breaded chicken strips. Air fried braided chicken strips. Uh-huh. I'm having chicken strips, air fried chicken strips, and apple pie. Because I never eat sweets. I never eat sweets. So I figure I have a little pleasure today and have a slice of apple pie and and um, air fried chicken strips. <clears throat> I was debating on chicken strips or making my own chicken nuggets. But I was kind of leaning towards the chicken strips. I think they would be best. They go along just perfect with the apple pie. I believe I posted the apple pie uh, video already for this video here of the chicken strips. So basically I'm just slicing and dicing the chicken strips right now. Chicken breast, skinless, boneless chicken breast. Which I have three boneless, skinless chicken chicken breasts to slice up. And I have it on a cooking board here. A cutting board, sorry. Have it on the cutting board. And mind you, I haven't had breakfast yet either. Only coffee. So I am looking forward to these chicken strips. Uh, okay. There's three chicken breasts right there. for a bowl. I'm going to put my bread or mix in this bowl. Yes, I have chicken bread or mix. And this is what I'm using today. Hope y'all can see this. Chicken house. All tree house. Your house Autry chicken southern bread and mix southern style bread and mix okay i'm gonna rinse this bowl out here Bread mix in it. I'm gonna dry the bowl out because I don't want a bunch of wetness in here when I put the flour in here. The bread will mix in here, so I'm drying it out. bread and mix into the bowl. That's good enough for now. 
It already have its own seasonings in it. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay. And maybe put some mustard. Rub the chicken breast down with mustard first, I'm thinking. I think I'm going to marinate it down first with some Nature's Promise Organic Yellow Mustard. Yes. But marinate it down with this first. Before I put it in, put it into the bread and mix. So y'all bear with me. If you will. It will make sure they're very tender. Because you have vinegar and the mustard. And that tenderizes the meat. After I do that, then I'll put it into the bread mix. Like that. Squeeze one more piece in there. And just mix them all around in the pool there. The bread mix pool. Make sure they're well coated. put them in the air fryer. the chicken breasts and the air fryer like so Hope everyone's having a blessed day today. And I hope everyone is putting God first before anything 
they do in this day. Put God first before anything you do, honey. And everything will work out just fine. Back over here. With the marinated and mustard chicken breast. Bread these on down and the bread are mixed in. You can see that seasoned bread are mix. Picking the bowl back over this side near the air fryer. I can finish loading up these chicken breast strips. Don't want to crowd them too much because I want them to evenly cook. ever tried this before with the chicken bread mix you know they have seafood bread mix also and the same brand the house altry house yeah house altry brand yeah and that is just as good as the chicken uh, bread mix the seafood one Make sure they're well coated so when you cook them got enough dough on it to be to come out nice and crispy you don't want to leave them bare with no coating on them because if you're anything like me honey i like that crunchy crust i love the crust nice and crunchy I'm getting a little crowded in this pool here, this this flower pool. But it's okay, because we're going to work it out. It's going to be worked out. Without a doubt, it's going to be worked out. So I'll let those sit for a minute here, and... I need to rinse my hands. My hand. Just a little bit here so I can pick up to the air fryer. Just enough so I can put my hand on that uh, pan of olive oil to spray the um, pizza. Good enough for now. So I done clean it all up on the cutter here. All the chicken breast is off the cutter. And I'm moving along to the air fryer. See, that's my air fryer, y'all. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You don't have to worry about frying your food and a bunch of grease all the time or whatever you know you can have a little air frying action and another peek at the the pie the apple pie i made earlier 
Still here, it's cooling off. Keeping this for the uh, chicken strips to have together with the chicken strips. I think it'd make a good combination myself. So, I got my Pam olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna spray. I spray one side of the strips at a time as they cook. So when this side finishes cooking, I'll be flipping it over and spraying the other side. So this goes in here like this. Then this is how you turn it on. And I hit chicken. Cause that's chicken right there. So I hit chicken and that's 40 minutes. That'd be 40 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut this video short so that um, I can get to cooking on this chicken, these chicken strips, get them all prepared. And then with the, with the finishing touch, I will be getting back to a video to let y'all see the finishing results of the chicken strips. Okay, so bye-bye for now, butterflies. Until the next video.